guys so this video is going up slightly later but i've been absolutely manic this weekend i'm actually having to record my pj broadcast tonight for tomorrow because again i'm manic tomorrow uh, literally all these week every weekend this week i'm absolutely manic so um this is the recommendation segment so the recommended game um this month um or this week sorry was actually recommended to me by my boyfriend so it's senran and kagura burst so it's actually this game here so this is a 3ds game that is a combat game i'm not gonna lie this is kind of based more towards males i'm not i'm not silly i remember this game coming out and i obviously wasn't with my boyfriend at the time i remember looking at it especially the front cover and the back cover and kind of being like yeah well why would i pick this up kind of thing but he did i said he did recommend me playing it so i have actually given it a go and all in all i do actually really like it it's more of a combat based game yes it is definitely aimed more towards males so it is very what i would call um Obviously, as you fire, if you the more you get hurt, your clothes kind of come off and stuff like that. But yeah, it's all in all, it's not a bad game. I quite enjoy it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause this and we'll go to a bit of gameplay, so you guys can see what some of the gameplay is like. So as you can see, first of all, see this is the main screen. Obviously, I have given this a fair go, so that's why I've got to continue. So we will click continue. I'm actually really not sure. Oh yeah, so that is gonna be my boyfriend's playthrough, I'm not even gonna lie. So as you can see, he's like so much more than what I am. So we're gonna go to the story. So first of all, this is your little like common room. So you can go around and there are different people. And I believe you can actually talk to them and actually change as well what character you want to be. So you can also go up here and you've got settings and record. Record, sorry. You've all got, also got character select here. So as you can see at the moment, I am playing with... Uh, Ikagura, but you also do have other ones as well. I have played with her a little bit, but obviously not any of these characters, which is fine. If you go over here and you've got the library and you've also got dressing up so you can slightly change what their clothes are and I'm sure I think I'm pretty sure um, there's a hell of a lot more changes than what obviously I've got at the moment so I've but yeah, I, I said I have played this a bit, but I've had so many games to come out, actually. So, and then over here is your missions. So, you can go over here. Okay. So special missions are for certain people. So let's go and change into her, shall we? Oh, sugar, click the wrong thing.
I'm just gonna skip this so we can get to like up the gameplay. Sometimes it can take a while to get into it. But I'm actually going to have to hold it because I have to... So it is incredibly fast paced and there are actually sometimes guidelines so you have to kill a certain amount, a certain amount of enemies or even take down a certain amount of enemies with a specific attack so that's fair enough so it says catch the thief is the aim of this one as well as defeat all the enemies, there is no time limit. And I kind of feel like it kind of goes a bit like Street Fighter, you have to actually um, progress a certain, do a certain amount and then you can go to the next Um, the next section. I hate the big guys. Big guys are really freaking annoying. She looks like the thief, or she, she. I wonder if you go back there, but you can't.
So I didn't do too badly on that one. I got a star rank, which is really good. I did level up as well, which is awesome. So it's definitely good. I leveled up a couple of times. So each time you play, you do unlock bits as well, which is good. that's the main gameplay of that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that in there I'm going to shut that down and go back down to our normal bit hey guys so all in all I would say I'm actually really enjoying this game I haven't played it as much as what I really should do to be honest and I could really definitely get into this kind of game I love anime and manga and I love like those kind of hack and slash kind of fight games that this kind of is so yeah, like the first bit when you do this, you kind of do it with mannequins so you can learn how to fight and stuff. I'm definitely not one of the, what should I say, best players. So I'm not like, um, my boyfriend could do this game so much more justice because he has played it so much more. But yeah, so all in all, I would give this game probably about an 8 out of 10. It's really enjoyable and I will probably definitely play this. There is a number 2, I believe, of this game on the 3DS but I think he's got it again, I'm not sure. But yeah, so let me know in the comments down below what you think. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, but also leave a recommendation down below. If you've got any games, any console, it honestly doesn't matter. Um, if I've got the console and I can get a copy of the game on the console, then I will give it a go. Um, so yeah, leave that down below and I will definitely give it a go and see what I think of it. But thanks very much for watching, guys, and I will see you guys next time. So.